Let's have a look at this morning's news this Tuesday, shall we? And our main story is that a four-day strike by junior doctors in England has begun a couple of hours ago, 7 o'clock this morning. It's expected to be the most disruptive in the NHS's history. More than a quarter of a million appointments and operations could be cancelled, but doctors say they are striking for patient safety as well as pay. Well, let's get the very latest now from our health correspondent, Catherine Burns. Morning to you, Catherine. I know you've been talking to Morning, many of the people on that picket line. They've been explaining to you their reasons for walking out today. Yeah, we have been talking about why they've been doing this because they're two hours in and they've got 90, more than 90 hours to go. This is a four day walkout. So this decision won't have been taken lightly by people because, you know, they say they're worried about their patient safety, but for them, they really, really want to sort out pay. So they are asking for a 35% increase in pay to make up for what they say is 15 years of below inflation increases. So I'm joined now by some junior doctors who have gone out on strike, Abby and Ben. Abby, let's start with you. So how long have you been a doctor for? Uh, I've been qualified for three years. I qualified in in May, June 2020. And how easy was it for you to decide to go out on strike? Really difficult. Um, in my head, there are, there are obviously two things that I think about. One is obviously, I, I feel like I have a duty to my patients to provide them care, but I also feel I have a duty to my patients to take a stand because the NHS, as it is right now, is not functioning properly. Um, I can't remember the last time I had a shift where I got home and thought, yeah, like that was well done. That was, you know, I managed to give all of my patients the care they needed. Usually I'm not managing to give all of my patients the standard of care I would want to give them. And that's not right. And the reason we're in that situation is because we are losing so many staff. And that's because we're underpaid, we're overworked, and it's not sustainable. How are you coping with that? Um, <laughs> with difficulty. Um, it's, it's not nice. It's not nice coming home and feeling like, you know, you can't do the job you're supposed to be doing. Um, we all do the absolute best we can in a system that is currently very broken. Um, but at the end of the day, like, we are all running out of steam. We've been going a long time. We've been sprinting a long time. And the pandemic was obviously a lot for anyone to deal with, never mind healthcare workers who are already dealing with difficult situations as it was. Um, so, like, we just keep going. But, I mean, I, I guess the reality is a lot of people can't keep going, and that's why we're losing so many staff. Ben, you have only been a doctor for not even a year yet, yeah, and yeah. already you're thinking about leaving the NHS. Why is that? Well, essentially... <laughs> Essentially, just echoing what you've said, it is, it's difficult when every day you go to work, you come home and you're absolutely exhausted and you don't feel that there's any way out of it really. You feel that you're, it's just getting more, more difficult, more difficult, more difficult every single shift. And for me, that's been really challenging. So I've had to take time off for my mental health um, with stress and anxiety. And I don't really see how I'm going to be able to get through even the first two years of training. Um, so... I don't, I, I don't see a future for myself with any certainty because I don't know if I personally can survive in a system like this, really. Thank you, Ben. Well, there you have it. Some two doctors who are very fresh in their careers already talking about leaving the NHS. The gap between what they want and what the government thinks they should have is wide at the moment. Catherine, thanks very much indeed. And this morning on BBC Breakfast, we have, as you can see, spoken to junior doctors from the British Medical Association and the medical director for NHS England. Yeah, we did also ask to speak to the health secretary, Steve Barclay, or indeed any health minister on breakfast uh, about the dispute, but we were told that none of them was available today. Now, the strike lasts for four days until Saturday morning, and the opportunity remains for any health minister to appear here on BBC Breakfast to answer your questions. The time, three minutes past nine, and President...